Indian Armed Forces' interest in the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System as part of its Integrated Rocket Launcher System acquisition project under the Rehorizon 3 phase represents a significant step towards modernizing its artillery capabilities. The HIMARS, with its high mobility, precision, and long-range capabilities, offers a compelling solution to address the PAF's evolving operational requirements. The HIMARS has proven its effectiveness in various conflicts worldwide. Its ability to rapidly deploy and engage targets with precision-guided munitions makes it an invaluable asset on the modern battlefield. For the PAF, the HIMARS would significantly enhance its firepower and range, enabling it to strike targets deep within enemy territory. While the HIMARS is a strong contender, several other systems should be considered to ensure that the PAF selects the most suitable platform for its specific needs. Korean Multiple Launch Rocket System KMLRS, developed by South Korea, the KMLRS offers a similar level of performance to the HIMARS at a potentially lower cost. Its compatibility with South Korean-made equipment could also streamline logistics and maintenance. LARS-2 The LARS-2, developed by Turkey, is a versatile system that can launch a variety of rockets and missiles. Its modular design allows for customization to meet specific operational requirements. Aerospace Systems Advanced Precision Killing System APKWS, although not a full-fledged MLRS, the APKWS can transform unguided rockets into precision-guided munitions, offering a more affordable and flexible solution for certain missions. Key considerations for selection range and precision. The system must be capable of engaging targets at extended ranges with high precision. Mobility. Given the archipelago nature of the Philippines, a highly mobile system is essential. Ammunition variety. The ability to launch a variety of munitions, including precision-guided munitions and cluster munitions, is crucial. Integration with existing systems. The system must be able to integrate seamlessly with the PAF's existing command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance C4 ISR, systems. Cost. The total cost of acquisition, including training, maintenance, and ammunition, must be carefully considered. Indigenization potential. The ability to support local industry and promote technology transfer should be a factor in the decision-making process. Recommendations to make an informed decision. The PAF should conduct a thorough analysis of each system, considering the following, comparative analysis, a detailed comparison of the HIMARS, KMLRS, LARS-2, and APKWS based on the aforementioned criteria. Operational scenarios. Develop realistic operational scenarios to assess how each system would perform in various combat situations. Cost-benefit analysis. Conduct a comprehensive cost-benefit analysis to determine the most cost-effective solution. Offset agreements. Negotiate offset agreements with the selected vendor to promote local industry development and technology transfer. Conclusion The acquisition of a new MLRS system is a significant investment for the Philippine Armed Forces. By carefully evaluating the various options available and considering the specific operational requirements, the PAF can select a system that will enhance its capabilities and contribute to regional security. A balanced approach that combines the strengths of different systems, such as acquiring a mix of HIMARS and APKWS, may also be worth considering.